Hi everybody, Gabby here. For this video of the telehealth cranny, we will be talking about Google Slides. And Google Slides is basically Google's cloud version of PowerPoint or a Keynote. So it works the same, um, but it has a few cool features because it is online. So in order to access Google Slides, you will need a Gmail account or a company or institution account that's affiliated with Google. If you don't have either of those, it's really easy to create one on your own. So once you are logged into your Gmail account, there are two ways you can access Google Slides. The first one is by going to google.com slash slides and you can find here and um, click go to Google Slides. And it'll allow you to create new presentations, um, view other old presentations, and um, you can create a blank one or you can use a template and go to the template gallery and check all of that out. The second way to access Google's Google Slides is by going to your Gmail account, going to the top right corner and finding this little grid over here that says Google Apps. You click it and you can go down to Drive um, or you can scroll down and go to Slides. And if you click Slides, it'll take you to the same thing that I just showed you. If you go to Drive, it'll open your Drive and then you can go to the left corner and click the plus in new button and it'll allow you to go and make either a blank presentation or make um, a presentation with a template so two ways to get there and let's say that you are looking for a different type of design for your Google slide. Um, there are two other websites that you can go to to find some really cool templates. The first one is Slides Carnival. And if you scroll down, you can see all of this. It's pretty cool. Got some nice ones. And then you can also go to slidesgo.com. You scroll down, they've got some cool ones as well. But for the purposes of this presentation, we are going to be looking at this blank test presentation. So a couple of things that I enjoy about Google Slides is one, because cloud-based, I can make an edit on here. And if you go to the top left, you'll see it's saved. It's saved to my Google Drive. Um, you can actually access the same presentation on your phone or on um, a tablet or on another computer, just as long as you have the app or can log in to your drive. So you can access it across devices and save changes across devices too. Another cool thing is because cloud-based, if you're collaborating with someone, you can also share these slides and they can edit it as well. So to do that, you click share on the top right and you can either share it directly with them by typing in their email or you can send them a link by clicking copy link. And when you copy the link, you want to make sure if you want them to edit, um, you click this thing on the bottom that says change to anyone with the link. And you can either make them a viewer, or if you click this arrow, you can make them a commenter, or you can make them an editor. So that it's updated, you copy the link and you just email it to them. Um, so that's how you share it. A, another thing that's really cool because it's online is that you can easily add videos and pictures and audio. So the way you do that is you click insert on the top left and you can 
do image and you can either upload from your computer or search on the web, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to search a smiley face, just click it and here's one and you can literally just click and drag it. And there you go. You've got a big smiley face on here and you can adjust it the way you want. You can also um, crop it. You can also rotate it um, like that. And then you can also add videos. So let's say I wanted to insert a video. You can do it directly from YouTube. So you can search a song or if you have a, a link to a video you can just paste it there um, or if you have something on your google drive already uploaded you can upload from there so let's say there you go here's our little intro video boom right there and again you can make it smaller um, you can adjust it put it wherever you want and on the right here it'll also give you options for formatting so if you wanted to start at a certain spot um, and also you can edit it uh, to have it start when you click it or start automatically when the slide comes up or just play manually <laughs> Um, another cool thing about Google Slides is if you are using Zoom, if you go here and go to uh, click presenter view, it'll open this, um, this separate window for you. Um, so you can keep track of what you're presenting and then it'll open the slides, the pre presentation in an, in an extra tab. So if you're sharing your screen on Zoom, um, you can still keep track of what's happening um, without them seeing this window. And you can share just this tab with them um, and they have no idea that you're keeping track of notes or what's happening next. They just see this screen right here. Okay, so right now you guys see this window and you guys see um, this in the back, you see the actual presentation. So if I wanted to change it so that the um, person who is viewing this um, could only see the presentation and not my notes, then um, I can change that in the screen share and boom, now they don't see my notes and they have no idea that I am keeping track of what's happening next. So that's basically how Google Slides is accessed and how it works and some of its features. And in the next video, you are going to see some ways that Google Slides can be used in session.